now less than five weeks away from this year's Hotter Than Hell 100, and riders of all ages are training in one of the most challenging races in the country. Ian Klein caught up with a 10-year-old Wichita Falls girl training to ride and has much more tonight from the Endurance House on her pretty ambitious goal. That's right, guys. Now, I'm actually on one of the trails that Melanie and her father have been training on. Now, get this. This is not even Melanie's first Hotter in Hell 100. This will actually be her fourth. Last year, at nine years old, she completed 75 miles. And this year, she tells me she's going for the full 100. It is guaranteed to be the challenge of a lifetime for 10-year-old Melanie Montgomery, who is training for the full 100 miles of the Hotter in Hell 100. She says the goal came after she completed 75 miles in last year's race. I felt like I could do like 63, like, 70, like 80 miles now. Since I've done a, long, a very long distance, I feel like I could do more long distances. But she won't be riding alone. Melanie has been riding alongside her father, Robert, ever since she had training wheels. I don't like to be like a lazy person, so... It looked like it was really hard, and it had a lot of goals in it, so I looked forward to doing it, and now I'm doing it right now. I enjoy riding with her. It's always entertaining. Um, I wasn't sure if she would actually do the 75. I kind of had to talk her into it. Um, personally, for me, my goal was to at least get her to 53. My thinking was if I get her to the 53 mile mark, the la that rest stop, that she'd be able to finish it. You're 20 something miles an hour, Kristen McGrath. This is your competition, not me. Uh, Melanie has been training hard for months and is about five weeks away from the big race. She says one of the best parts of training is meeting new riders. If you're lonely, you can, there, there can be like a whole pack of people and you can talk to them. I've met quite a lot of friends because I, I don't like to always be lonely. You can definitely see her confidence soar through the roof. Um, she doesn't pay attention how fast she's going, so when she's talking to other riders, you know, she may one minute be riding 10 miles an hour, and next thing you know, she's riding 15 miles an hour, and she doesn't even know it. She's, you know, having a nice conversation with other people. And then this year especially, we've actually had... Um, groups that formed up behind her and paced behind her. And as for Melanie, she can't wait to cross the finish line. It's going to be very, very amazing. More than ever. <laughs> now I had the chance today to talk to a few riders and they tell me Melanie's actually an inspiration to them because of her passion and drive and all the training she's been doing to make sure that she crosses that finish line and completes the full 100 miles. And guys, I'll tell you, I really think she's going to do it. Reporting in Wichita Falls, Ian Klein, Channel 6. Cheering her on indeed. Melanie's father says he would love to see even more kids get involved in bike riding and reminds everyone that registration is still open for the Triple H and that will continue through August 20th. Now, come the day of that big ride. Join us right here for live coverage from this year's Hotter Hell 100. Stay with us, Texoma. We'll be right back.